Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth. Today's date, it is July 17th of 2017. This cat is DD. Uh, a pain in the butt cat. Well, this is sort of a little update on what's been going on or what's going to go on around here if this, if DD will let me do this. Uh. So what's going on? Let's see. Uh, this is my blog that nobody goes to anymore. I used to get hundreds every day, sometimes thousands, but now nobody. Of course, I've changed domain names numerous times. And in a way, I've talked about that in the past. I, I tried to, and I started new some of those times, uh, just to uh, start over and get rid of some of the people that were coming. I explained all that in... Uh, uh, in videos. I've got some packages coming today. Uh, this LED lamp, 40 watt, I'm going to put up there. You, I don't have that one on, but there's a, one of those umbrella things up there that diffuses the light, and I have an LED in there. But this is a 40 watt, and I think the uh, DD, please, please. Uh, so I've got this coming. I've also got this coming, which is kind of see if it goes there. It does. Got this coming for my camera here. And it's kind of stupid in a way, but I kind of like the idea of carrying my camera like this. And see, I can flip up the uh, screen. I can be looking down. Maybe be like my old twin lens reflex camera, which used 120 and 220 film. And I love that camera. Uh, let's see, behind me, I don't know if you can see it, where it's not in the picture. Let me maybe switch uh, cameras here and see if it shows up. There it is. See, back behind me, I have a cage, which I definitely don't need. And uh, it has a handle on top of it. Uh, but that was made for much, for much larger cameras. But... Uh, that one that I bought too. Well, what gave me the idea for it was somebody, if I could remember, okay, you're going to be on my lap. Um, okay, okay, here we go. It was a YouTube video, and the guy, he listed about five or six and showed them five or six cages like that and talked about them. But, uh, I didn't buy any of the ones that he listed, which I don't know why I didn't. And, uh, but I bought the one. And I've got two Panasonic cameras. And, the, well, the one you see back there. And then you want, the one back there is a compact camera. And a compact camera, there's really no sense in <laughs> hooking things onto it and making. The idea of the compact camera is to stick it in, be able to stick it in your pocket. And this one here is what they call a, a bridge camera. A little, you know, a little bigger. And uh, this, this one will not sit on that bracket correctly without the battery door and where the card is you can't open with that one you can 
the camera back there. But here, if you have that mounted, you can't get to this this door, and that that's kind of a pain. So I really should have, and the one that I bought, well, let's go to it, I guess. Let's see, this is not Amazon. Yes, it is Amazon. Oh, okay. Orders. Uh, by the way, I have this coming today, and I'd need a good desktop tripod. You would not, well, let me show you. The one I have over here was very, very cheap, and it also looks cheap, and there you go, feels cheap. And uh, so it's going to be probably replaced with the new one, which it, at least in this uh, uh, in the pictures here, this looks like it's much better than this the other one. The other one looks so cheap and feels so cheap. I can't stand to even uh, even use it. So I have this coming today. I'll let you know. I'll do a little review on it. Nothing but just let you know. Because that's a, a good price for it, I think. I forget what I paid for that one. Maybe it was $19 or $10 more. Oh, man, I think it's... What else? Um, anyway, this should be coming today. Oh, this is the bulb that's coming. And I I think the one up there is 20 watts. So this 40 watt. And then too, what I like about this one is it puts light, of course, out 360 degrees. But also it comes out the it comes out at the end. I think it'll be much better. So that's coming today. And what else? Let's see. Orders. Tripod. I've had this on my wish list forever and ever. For nose hair and ear hair. I don't. That's the ear. I think I have one hair that grows out from inside there, and one hair that grows up, and they get a certain length, and then it's driving me crazy all the time and then the only thing I have is a big pair of scissors I'm not too crazy about poking a big pair of scissors in my ear and it's kind of hard to get it so I'm hoping this is gonna it'll be worth it to uh, if that works I've, you know, I've, I've laid down and gone to bed before and one hair is tickling my ear or something I'm not a big fan of hair. So I've got this coming. I'm not sure if I'll use it. Since I have arthritis uh, so bad, like, well, we've got porcupines that are coming, or porc uh, no, possums coming to the back porch to be fed and really with my arthritis bending down. I used to take some pretty good pictures in the old days because I was willing to get down low and, and but now I I don't want to get down low and if I try to get down on the floor sometimes getting back up is a is hard to do. So I'm thinking especially since I can Especially since I can rotate the, uh, and I can rotate it like this, and have this ha have that handle on it. So maybe that will. I'm sure that'll work. It's something I can throw in my bag too. Really, what I think I should. I've mentioned that before. What I should be doing is I should just get a. And my cell phone. I take pictures sometimes, videos rarely. <coughs> it. Uh, I think it has a pretty good camera on it. Um, whoops, wrong camera. 
I think it has a pretty good, uh, but and I'm real happy with this cell phone. It does everything that I need for it to do. But I know that it's, I'm eventually going to have to replace it because it has a built-in battery. You know, none of it. We shouldn't be buying cell phones that have built-in batteries. We should insist that they make batteries that we can replace when it wears out. Because I'm happy with this cell phone, but when the built-in battery goes, I'll have to buy a new phone. And uh, But what I should do is I should get a cell phone I should go almost I should go for which has really really good camera on it and then because I almost never use it for talking I do use it occasionally you know for a map if I'm out or I use it to you know order Uber or Lyft or something so but you know the I should and then I wouldn't have to worry about these other cameras I could just have a good, and they even do, they even do, there's some that even do 4K. I don't have a 4K camera, and I have one on, where's my wish list? By the way, this also, I saw a guy on YouTube that was demonstrating, uh, this, I'm not sure it's the exact same one, but I have three stands with three, you know, umbrellas that I can, and one is enough actually. And I really, the cameras are so good. I'm using, you know, USB camera here. They're so good that, uh, that I don't really, uh, don't really, you know, need other cameras for, for doing this, but uh, I'm not sure I'll buy this. I just poke for the ears, you know, I just poke Q-tips in there, which is actually not supposed to do that in it. Pushes the whack. I already have hearing loss, but maybe I should see if I can. But uh, I'm a fan of Twit TV. Uh, and back, oh, I think within less than a year, I believe, they had a guy on it. I don't know if he was the CEO or the founder of this or just exactly what he was, but he would, it was not for, I think it was for lease in, in uh, UK or EU, but it wasn't yet approved for here in the United States. And he demonstrated, it was demonstrated and, uh, I thought, man, that's uh, that's really neat. You can do your EKG, but the reviews are bad. Oh man, they have a lot of bad reviews. So so many that uh, and I too I can understand that. Uh, But they have bad reviews for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is when you when you look at the uh, advertising here, they tell you you know that you can save your EKGs and uh, they'll be available. That's you have to pay ten dollars a month. Otherwise, you get to save one. You have to pay ten dollars a month to save them. And uh, two. The, which I knew from working, you know, in hospitals. That uh, this just tells you, I think, normal or abnormal. It doesn't give you, you know, uh, and you can look at you can look at an EKG, and you're not gonna. There was an ER. I was worked. I worked security at a hospital. There was this one ER doctor, a really nice ER doctor, and. and uh, now, it wasn't exactly always me, but he would put up a, an EKG and say, Jim, what do, what do you think this, you know, what do you think this is? 
And sometimes you put up an x-ray. What do you think? You know, you think this is a, a break or you think, you know. <laughs> uh, but he was a really nice doctor and I, I liked him and everything. But yeah, I mean, I could tell that from when they uh, look at EKG. The, the, the guy was an ER doctor and he was a uh, internist before being an ER doctor. And... I mean, you and I, you think, you know, okay, well, like, because you watch, we watch movies, and and they put a camera up at uh, the monitor, you know, and you see the, the then you see it flatline or something, and you think, oh, okay, I could tell, I could tell if, you know, but there's more to it. If you know, if you're a doctor and you know what you're doing, you can look and you can see, okay, that's, uh, right node, uh, you know, anterior abnormality or posterior. I mean, I, they just know all that stuff by looking at it. And uh, you and I, it looks like a right. So this thing doesn't. Plus that too, I guess it's giving a lot of abnormal. So you got people who are, who get it because they're worried. I would get it just, just to have, you know, just because if I was having chest pain, which I have occasionally, very rarely now, I used to have it all the time. I would be, oh, okay, well, my heart is still beating, you know. But, I mean, some people have real concerns, and and for them, and then to get an abnormal, get abnormal readings, they're, so. So I guess this is not ready for prime time, so it's on my list, but I, I'm not intending, oops, I didn't want to click on that. Well, since we're going here, anyway, Let's see how much money Amazon is going to pay me this month. Go up here to payment history. Whoops. Did somebody just order 17 or 7 items? Uh, where? What did I come here for? Oh, payment history. Okay, this month I'm going to get, at the end of the month, get $23.84 for the month. But at least they pay every month. That's when you are watching a YouTube video of mine, and at the bottom, you know, I'll list, if I talk about something, I'll list it with a link. And if you go there, and if you click and buy it, I get a small commission. Doesn't cost you anything. Actually, if what is, if you go there and you click on it, and then you're there, and you say, eh, I'm not going to buy that, but I think let's order the big screen TV, you know, or something. If you go and click on that, I would get a commission for that, which I don't think has ever happened. But uh, what did I? Oh, we wanted to go to Amazon. No. We wanted to go to Amazon. By the way, I met you're in very you're in luck. I made a video the other day, and I intend to talk a little bit about current affairs. And then I talked for about forty minutes of raving and ranting and foaming at the mouth. And then when I finished, I thought I can't let anybody, <laughs> I can't let anybody see this video. And I hate to. Uh, my philosophy is like when I make a video or posting messages. It's like, okay, I made it, posted it, that's it. Uh, when I had the BBS before the World Wide Web, when I had the BBS, uh, <clears throat> one was people could post whatever they wanted to post, and two, with the BBS, I could see all, I could see private messages, and there was things. I can't remember. I'm, I'll make this shit up. I can't remember. There was things like I would I wouldn't be looking at the private message, but I had to go through the database or, or whatever, and I would see that uh, somebody would leave a message like, uh, "It's too bad Jim doesn't have such and such on his BBS," and I, that would be a function that I had, but I did not send them a message saying, "Oh," or I didn't post a public message saying, "Oh, by the way, we have I, what was there." was private and I did not and same with the, the messages that I posted when I posted them I didn't go and 
delete them. The YouTube videos that I've made or the videos that I made someplace else. Uh, a few times I've gone back because something was so outdated. Something that was posted about some incident that nobody would even remember or whatever. I've deleted a few of those. But in general, my idea is those videos are posted. Uh, some videos were made in 2005. The, the picture quality was terrible. The sound was terrible. But it's a record of... I can look at those videos and I can see where I was living. Uh, I can see what kind of camera I was using. Uh, and I just think it's like, okay, it's a little snapshot. Nobody else may care, but that's sort of my philosophy. So, Oh, but anyway, I, I made this raving and ranting video and normally I would have posted it even when I, when I, when I got done with it and I thought, Oh, man, it kind of made an ass of Well, I, my philosophy is sort of, well, let him see Jim Howard making an ass out of himself. And, but it was so bad that I just deleted it. Normally, I post everything. Uh, what did I come here for? I think I was going to go back to uh, orders. Uh, here's that light. I think I... Oh, um, I'm home alone. Uh, my ex-wife and my grown son have gone to uh, Walmart to get groceries. Um, my ex-wife and I are, she did live next door with my grown son. The apartment people raise the rent every time here. So uh, they moved in here and were splitting the expenses up or whatever. Uh, the rent is 800 a month. Darlene gives me uh, 400 a month and uh, she purchased, she loves to go grocery shopping. So she buys, you know, really the groceries. Now if there's something really that she's very, uh, she buys the cheapest, you know, she, uh, if there's something I really want that is kind of expensive, then I just go ahead and say, you know, here's 20 or 40 or something. Get me such and such. Cheese. I'm a great cheese lover. And uh, but and I used to tell her occasionally to buy one of the big, I think they're like $9 maybe, one of the big things of cheese. And I would give her the extra money for it. Uh, now she just buys like, you know, she said, no, it's okay. She buys like three of them. Uh, I eat a lot of cheese. I have, uh, I never used to have really medical problems. I have a bunch of medical problems now. Diabetes. I knew it was coming. I was warned for years that my, you know, and I didn't take the necessary steps to really, you know, I should have. Now I have diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Um, I actually hadn't take my, taken my blood sugar for months. And then I finally, the other day, uh, I did, in the beginning, I took it every day, religiously every day. The doctor really was impressed when he saw the numbers and everything, how well I was doing, and the fact that I was doing it every day. And then I didn't do it for months. And I took it the other day, and it was 100. And then I took it, uh, I think the day before yesterday, well, anyway, the next day I took it. It was 110 in the morning uh, before I ate. Although with my prostate problems, I'm up every two or three hours to go to the bathroom. And then a lot of times I grab a Coke, Coke Zero, but I grab a Coke. And uh, sometimes grab something to eat. I started ordering, 
I think last month I ordered about three times in the month Chinese food. And uh, occasionally, maybe one time pizza, and then the other day uh, Darlene ordered a, ordered pizza or whatever. So anyway, she moved in to save expenses. And so we have a little, before we had nothing extra. And so now we've got a little bit of extra money, so uh, I've got a whole list of things. I, I have a, two whiteboards. You occasionally see them. There's one there, and I have another identical one that, let's see if I can, that I use to, you might wonder why I don't use Let's see. So uh, I have a list of everything up there that I that I owe. Uh, oh, Skype! I fucking hate Skype. I get signed up for it occasionally. I've got signed up for it in the in the past. And Skype is one of those places that I hate so much that when you get signed up and you go to their site to unsubscribe for something you're paying for, they've got it fixed for you. There's no fucking way you can find the place to click to unsubscribe. Those people should be put out of business. And I had the other company that I had that with years ago was Yahoo. And they were worse and those companies should be shut, you know, shut down somehow. It should be, an, I don't know, Federal Trade Commission or something that if you have a site and people are subscribers, that there has to be an, a clear, easy way for you to cancel your membership subscription or whatever it is. Uh, Amazon. For Amazon Prime or whatever, they're they're easy to. I haven't unsubscribed, but they are they're easy to get to. But the two that are the best that I know of that are really easy are uh, Netflix and Hulu. They are great. Those people deserve. They deserve some. Well, I guess they're the by getting customers, they're getting you know that they make it very easy to. I know. I think Netflix because I did it. I think once or twice, you can go in and say, okay, uh, I don't, I wouldn't want to pay for a, you know, a little bit, so just stop it. And they stop it. And then if everything is still there, if you want to go back, which I did two or three months later, and say, okay, turn it on, and they turn it on for you. That's great. So they deserve... Uh, the lighting, I think, is really good in here. This is... I have no light while well, I do have one a pole lamp up here with a light. All the lighting in this room is LED lighting. Everything is. And in the bathroom there are five or I think six, yeah, six lights. And I have LEDs in every one of, you know, every one of them. So, uh, so what else is going on? Uh, let's go to the news and and God, okay, cross your fingers that uh, by the way, I have a Windows 10 desktop computer, and I have a Chrome box. Oh, uh, Senator McCain's surgery, I guess was a serious one. Uh, I'm a Democrat, but I hope that he you know hope he's okay. He is somebody that in the past has done the right thing. He in the past has taken a stand in opposition to his party. He's taken a courageous stand before but then of course he he's a Republican so he's uh, taken stands in positions that he should not have taken but 
In the past, I praised him on my blog repeatedly. I don't think at this time I can really, because of him picking Sarah Palin and, and other things, I can't. But anyway, I hope the, hope the best for him. And I have, I'd like to see him like to see him retire and see a, a Democrat get his seat, which, which isn't going to happen. Uh, well, let's see what the, uh, the killing there in Pennsylvania. The GOP health care bill cannot pass without McCain. They, the Republicans have lost Two. It's the, at, the, at this point, it's the point where it's two senators they've lost, and they cannot afford to lose one more. Um, that's how close it is. You know the way things are going. I know this isn't going to happen. But I wish that it would. I wish there was uh, senator Republican senators and Republican members of the House. I wish there were some of them that would say, okay, you know, I've been a, a Republican my entire life, but the situation with the Republican Party, the way things are now, I'm going to change parties, I'm going to be a Democrat. They would never do, you know, they wouldn't do that. But I wish they would. If they, If that happened, that would really send a message to you know, to the parties, and the, to the both parties, really, that, hey, you know, if you go too extreme, uh, you know, you may lie, cheat, steal, do all kinds of stuff, and to get a majority, let's say, in the Senate, to get that, you know, just, you know we got a majority of two or three or five votes or whatever, and now we can stick it. If that were to happen, if the other, if people were to say, okay, well, I'm going to the other side. Then you'd you'd have a, I think you'd have a better thing of people saying, oh, wait a minute now, let's not get too, you know. Uh, Russia rejects rejects any U.S. conditions for the return of seized compounds, their buildings that were seized or whatever because they were spying. And they don't want any conditions on the return, so we'll just keep them, make them into home, <laughs> put homeless people in there, uh, along with bugging equipment or whatever. I doubt they want it back anyway. Once you know, uh, man, you know, bugs. There. Remember when the when the communists, the United States had a gigantic, I think it was wood, eagle, I think it was given maybe by, by Russia, by the, by the USSR then, you know, I mean, it was carved, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how long we used it, but there was a bug in the, you know, in there recording stuff, so. Well, Chetna, it's interesting, they have no gaze. Wow, isn't that interesting? An entire, I think, was it uh, Russia said has said the same thing? They have no gays. Of course, they're out there. Before long, they probably will have no gays because they're out there. Off, they let their people know, you know, hey, you can go out there and set a trap for gay guys, and then you can kill them and beat them up and do all kinds of stuff, and nothing's going to happen to you. But then they're they're saying they have no gays. What was it? Some Asian country or? Was an African country was saying too that they had no gays. The Duchess of Cornwall speaks to the CNN in a rare interview. I don't know who she is. Jenner says she's considering a Senate bid. Oh my God, is that uh, is that? Yes. You know, that's going to be a problem because several other people are now saying that they're going to run for president of the United States. By, by Trump being elected, and now people are saying, 
well, hell, if he can be president, I can be. So we're going to have, and we're going to have <clears throat> keep more TV, per, you know. We don't need any TV personalities running for any political, you know, office or... I don't know anything about the what the Kardashians or whatever this. These, I mean, I know about you know Bruce Jenner, and now that he had a sex change operation and is now. But I don't know anything about all these. But I'm sick and tired. Of them. I'm sick and tired of all these people. I'm also sick and tired of videos that start. If I want to watch a video, I'll click on it. And I don't know why. When I go to CNN, I go to CNN several times a day to check. That's where I get, you know, I go there and, and uh, I mean, I watched, I watched it sometime. Every Friday I, I watch the, on uh, public TV and sometimes uh, you know and I go but I usually check CNN and they have these videos that pop stop you know stop to, why do you do that have the video and then right you know right there and then if I want to see this video I will click on the video the other thing I wish that they wouldn't do and it's a lot a lot of places do is you know this is all paid content here now it says very pl clearly there, you know, paid content. But when you go down here, okay, this seems plainer. I, they've, I think they've changed this, made this larger because I would be reading things and then there would be some things here that, now this obviously you know, but there are things that you come down here and you see and Okay, you're a news organization. You shouldn't have this this paid content. I don't think you should even have this paid content. If you're a news organization and you can't, and you need that much, I mean, how much do they get for this uh, crap? You need that so much, you know, if you want to have, if you want to have a banner over here, a little banner, fine. But doing this stuff that uh, you're not sure at first whether it's news. I think they've maybe changed it because it's not as obvious right now as it. But uh, by the way, I, I don't really want to talk about politics. But I've had some people, and they 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 think that all. Oh, the Republicans are 100% with Donald Trump. That they're all, and, and they're not. If you go to, which I've for years called this site a hate site, redstate.com. Now, of course, right-wing people would not agree with me at all. But uh, uh, they are have been Oh, the reason I call them a hate site, well, because of the type of stuff they had. And because in the past, now that's kind of, I haven't seen that in months now. But it used to be anything that happened, any labor dispute, or any time they talked about uh, unions, it, they called union officials uh, thugs. And even union people out protesting or whatever were thugs and and vandals and uh, whatever. I mean, that their word processing must have been set up. Okay, let's see. Uh, you know, Jim Howard of uh, Local 83 Union, thug. And, you know. Um, and then the te same with teachers. And you would think they wouldn't do that, but it was like... Uh, You would think they wouldn't attack teachers that way. But anyway, if you go here, I don't recommend it. 
because you're not going to get. But if you go there, you're going to find that they were not happy with Donald Trump. Uh, they're still not happy with Donald Trump. And they have posted some things that are really harsh on, on Donald Trump. And they've said things, you know, the fact that he's lying and all types of stuff. Well, here, you know, Fox News host would make a deal with the devil to protect the Trump name. What three little words could save Donald Trump from, could save Donald Trump? I don't know. I don't remember. What would the three? In the legal world, words can mean just as much as action and sometimes more. Law is defined by the words, the phrasing, the interpretation. Let's see. In the case of Donald Trump Jr., the law is simple. You cannot solicit any aid from a foreign nation for election purposes. The statute in question is, and then they list the statute. So, you know, and that's, that's good uh, so far. I mean, because you've got Republicans that are saying, uh, Trump supporters are saying, well, they didn't do anything wrong because they didn't get anything from the, the, the Russians didn't have anything that they, you know, that they uh, could use. But the, it doesn't matter. The mere fact that you attempt to get something from the, uh, from a, so I'm not going to read, but, uh, so what are the three words? Uh, yeah, they're kind of bad sometimes about, what are the three words? You cannot solicit any aid from a foreign nation for election purposes. Okay. Uh, the legal opinion out there suggests that Donald Trump Jr. can indeed go down for breaking election law, and it's not difficult to see why. However, the law news dug up a counterpoint that could get Donald Jr. off the hook, and it comes down to three little words that can have a big impact on the law. Okay. Oh, here it is, I guess. Knowing and willfully commits a violation of the statute. Most of the FECA's prohibitions, including those related to the solicitation of contributions, donations from foreign nationals, create criminal consequences only when a person knowingly and willingly commits a violation of the statute. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, so a lot of people are upset with, you know, it just almost gags me to say President Donald Trump. Oh, but, uh, I mean, it's obvious from the memos, you know, the, the guy is saying, hey, my Russian contacts have stuff from the gov Russian government that is government stuff, and we've got to keep this secret, and uh, I can set up a meeting for you, and they can give you this information, and it will help you, you know, to uh, defeat Hillary Clinton, and Donald Trump is saying, I love it, yes, Let's, you know, and then the guy, when do you want to have this meeting? And, you know, Donald Trump Jr. says four o'clock, you know. And then the fact that they lie every time about everything. Now, I think some Republicans are, are uh, saying, well, you know, President Trump doesn't know anything about politics and he's stupid. And... <laughs> You know, now, you know, it is, it's true. Donald Trump doesn't know anything about the Constitution, about about government or how things work. And and I thought maybe that his son and his son-in-law were smarter. But I, I don't know about his son-in-law, but his son isn't. They're both stupid. Unbelievably so. 
I don't know what you do. Or, you know, a lot of us don't want political people. We're tired of the politicians, and you don't want those kind of people even to be in the government, and you want some honest people. But on the other hand, you have to have people, you know, you have President of the United States saying when he takes office, oh, the Constitution is getting in my way. There's things I want to do, and the Constitution is getting in my way. What? You just swore an oath, you know, to obey the Constitution, you know, protect and defend, and, and you just, you know, and you the Constitution, I mean, that's unbelievable, saying those type of things. And, and you, and then he says, you know, I didn't know health care was so difficult. He said about something something else and just on and on. Yeah, actually, we do actually need people who know how the government works. We do need people. Uh, there was a movement there for a while to have term limits. I was against that because I knew that we needed people that it would be bad to have everybody in the, you know, the Congress be new and not know, you know, where the, wouldn't know the hell they wouldn't, there'd be nobody to say where the bathrooms were. I mean, it would be a, you know, uh, but we do need people who know how the system works. What's that little video, how to, I am a bill and here's how I get, you know, uh, D.D., are you crying? I guess I should give D.D. a treat and carry her around a little bit. Uh, she loves my son and my ex-wife. How somebody could love my ex-wife, I don't know. Did I say that out loud? Uh, so I guess I better give D.D. a treat. Maybe carry her around a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back probably to show you my, the stuff I'm getting today and to try out the new light that I'm going to be, I don't have it on now, don't need it. And I like the video, the natural light from these windows. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.